Jordan was just, he was born with this superhero strength and personality. That is Paige Trudeau Schmilt speaking of her late husband, Jordan Gardner. Jordan passed away last week at the age of 31. Jordan was many things, an athlete, paramedic, philanthropist, and most importantly, a fighter. Three days before Jordan and Paige were set to wed, he was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. Being a cancer survivor herself, Paige knows the struggle to fight a serious illness. In Jordan's case, two. When he was less than a year old, he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. Paige wants for Jordan to be remembered for more than what he battled. She wants him to be remembered for what he gave to others, despite the challenges he faced. Jordan was a very special guy in a lot of ways, and not just over the last uh, three and a half years that he's been fighting cancer. He, you know, and not over, not just about the cystic fibrosis either. Like he's just a really special guy, and he. Um, really wanted to make a difference and he really wanted to be remembered for making a positive difference and a positive impact um, and whether that was you know somebody he'd never met sitting beside them on the school bus or you know creating the Jordan Bash and trying to raise awareness and help local families uh, it didn't really matter to him he just he wanted to show he felt like he had something to, to give and leave to the world and I feel like he's done a very good job of that. Jordan's life was well lived to the very end. The couple's favorite show, Survivor, and they took in the finale together. Um, I mean, there's a lot of moments that I'll cherish for sure. Um, watching the finale of Survivor <laughs> as our last kind of show um, was really nice because, you know, just to see how excited he got when Gabler won. Um, and just, you know, he said, I love you. And we went to sleep like a normal night. And unfortunately, that was like the last speaking moment we had. Um, but I never left his side in the hospital and never let go of his hand. So he knew I was there. His legacy will live on. Jordan's Bash for Hope will return this September. Jordan made me promise that um, we will make the bash bigger than ever. And um, he's was very adamant this year about keeping a lot of the funds local. A celebration of life is scheduled for Saturday, March 11th at Canada College's gymnasium at the College Drive campus. Reporting for Kojiko News, I'm Clark Heipel.